Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Days. It's Tutorial Tuesday and today we're going to make fabric pumpkins. For this project, no sewing machine is required. For each pumpkin you will need a 10 inch by 10 inch piece of fabric, polyester fiber fill, a strong thread like several strands of embroidery floss or in my case I'm using candle wicking thread, a needle, and you're going to need some kind of glue. I'm using hot glue for my project. You'll also need some little branch or stick. I just had my husband go grab something off the ground for me. And the pattern downloaded from debsdays.com. You can also find this supply list on Debs Days. I've added a direct link in the description right below this video. All right, let's place our piece of fabric face down or face up, doesn't really matter. Go ahead and fold that in half and then place the template on the top. Make sure you're putting the fold on the fold line. Pin that down and then go ahead and cut out around the template. I'm using a rotary cutter but of course you could use scissors. Go ahead and remove the template. Open that back up. Now go ahead and grab your thread and your needle. It would be best if you went ahead and double knotted the thread on the end. We're going to be pulling it quite a bit, so we want it strong. We're going to be gathering that circle up to make the pumpkin. So go ahead and just do a running stitch all the way around, about a quarter inch from the edge. Just in and out, in and out, and pulling it all along the way so it does the little gathering that you're going to need. If you wait till the end, it's going to be a little bit harder. Once you have that, you'll notice it puckers. Let's make sure the puckering goes with the fabric right side out. Just work your way all the way around with that thread. When you get to the end, go ahead and go past where that knot is. Because like I said, we want it sturdy because we're going to be pulling it back and forth here. And then go ahead and start stuffing it with your fiber fill. It'll be up to you to decide how much stuffing you want to put in there, how firm of a pumpkin. As you add the stuffing, go ahead and continue to pull that opening closed more and more. You're also going to find you're going to be able to make a taller pumpkin or just a squattier pumpkin based on how you move that fiber fill around. So go ahead and move that around however you'd like. When you have as much in there as you'd like, we're going to need to close that top up. We're going to take stitches across, back and forth, back and forth to get that opening closed. You can see how mine are just crisscrossing all over. So we're going to need that secure. That's another reason we wanted that all double knotted. Continue doing it until it's completely closed. Then we're going to tie it off and then go ahead and feed the needle through your pumpkin just from the top so it comes out one of the other sides or the bottom. When you do that, make sure you're working it in and out of the fiber fill. It'll just secure it a little bit better. Then go ahead and get your little branch or stick that you have. I just kind of guesstimated how much I wanted to cut off. I'm using my strong Fisker scissors, but if you want to use clippers, you can do that too. Then I went ahead and placed it on the pumpkin. I decided it was too long, so I went ahead and cut it again to make it a little bit shorter. Go ahead and put glue on the end of your stick, or go ahead and put the glue on the pumpkin itself. I was able to work it down in a little hole. I had left just a little space. You won't always be able to do that. These whip up pretty fast, so you can make as many as you'd like in a real short time. If you'd like to see more craft projects like this one, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And stop by the blog at debsdays.com. See you next week with another project.